the next cupcake in the Pub Sports Radio Top 25 Cupcake Countdown is a cupcake that if you gave me one, I would eat it within 30 seconds, maybe 20, maybe 10. Maybe I jam it in my mouth all at one time. It's the ultimate cupcake. It's the ultimate chocolate cupcake. And I'm going to use it to describe and pair up with the ultimate college basketball program. And that's the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Coach Mike Boynton has this team purring, has this program on the rise. And the people of Stillwater, Oklahoma, better goddamn be happy about it. I'll tell you that. Because I want an ultimate chocolate cupcake like I want Oklahoma State to take the floor already. Because you know what they did last year? Look at the screen. 7-1 ATS after a loss. 11-3 ATS against ranked opponents. 12-4 ATS as an underdog. Well, I hate to burst everybody's bubble, but Cade Cunningham went to the NBA. And Cade Cunningham was their best scorer. He was their end-of-game shot maker. He was one of their best playmakers. But I still describe Oklahoma State as a team that is a temperature of sweltering. Okay? Don't mess with that shit. Oklahoma State is on the rise. They got depth this year. They got multiple lineups that they can run. They got internal competition to push the guys that are already there to step their goddamn game up. And there's nothing like that, especially when you play in a conference as deep and talented as the Big 12. And I'll tell you, this is a team that's going to have lots of depth. They are going to get the best out of their personnel. And a fellow Canadian, a guy from Orangeville, freaking prep, Toronto, Ontario, Matthew Alexander Moncrief, better step the fuck up. Because I'll tell you, this is a team that has two skilled big men. They can either platoon them, they can play them together, and they got multiple lineups that they can run out with there with a deep and talented backcourt. So what does Oklahoma State have to do? They got to own the glass. They have they got to have multiple guys stepping up in whatever game they're playing in and dominate. We need multiple MVPs just like last year. We need Avery Anderson to have the game. We need Bryce Williams to have a big game. So it goes on and so forth. But what isn't going to change about this Oklahoma State team is the fact that they are going to make us money. We are going to make money off of them. They are being discounted once again. They think that Cade Cunningham is the make or break for them. I still see them finishing the top four or five in the Big 12. And the way that we're going to attack this team is we're going to attack them in situations that they can replicate their success in, and that's against ranked opponents and as a dog. I think that they have a relatively easy non-conference schedule, so there are a lot of cupcakes. But if we see lines in the high teens and not in the low 20s, well, this is a spot that we'll have to be looking to bet on Oklahoma State as a favorite. So I think that one of the games that I'm going to be interested in betting on Oklahoma State is going to be against Oral Roberts. But for all this to happen, for all that cash money to come out of the bookie's pocket and go into ours, we're going to need Matthew Alexander Moncrief to first up um, develop a goddamn jump shot and continue to be a goddamn gem when it comes to transition offense and defense, using that great footwork and athleticism to slide all over the floor and get in people's ways. And listen, he's got to fucking have, he's going to have challengers pushing behind him. So he's got to develop more. Get that jump shot going, score the ball, play defense. And I'll tell you, it's going to be a Kuna Matata for Oklahoma State in our bankrolls. So the game that I definitely want to attack is the game against Oral Roberts. This is a game where I think that Oklahoma State should be about a 10-point favorite. And if you see a line anything less than that, well, let's jump on that shit. Let's get some Oklahoma State money. Let's get some ATS Oklahoma State money. And I'll tell you this. Kevin O'Banner's gone, so it's just Max Obamas and company over at Oral Roberts. So this will be a team that will not bring you those same beautiful underdog ticket winners like they did in March Madness. We are all about them, Cowboys. We're all about the ultimate cupcakes and the ultimate college basketball program. So let's get some ultimate chocolate cupcakes in us. Let's get some Oklahoma State cash money in us. And let's go. We be popping. The next cupcake in the Pub Sports Radio Top 25 Cupcake Countdown 
is a delicious cupcake. A cupcake that I wouldn't give you one if you asked me for because I want them all to myself. It's a raspberry chocolate cupcake. Look at that thing. It's even got a raspberry on top of it. Oh, God. I want one right now. Sort of like I want Nevada Wolf Pack to get on the floor, play some games that I can bet on. Because I'll tell you, I don't like Steve Alford. I didn't like him at UCLA. I don't like him as a coach in Nevada, but they signed to a 10-year deal, and I just have to take it. But he's got these boys in Reno, Nevada, first off winning, second off cashing. And the second thing is the thing that matters the most to us at Pup Sports Radio, cashing. And that's what we want to do in Nevada again. There's a reason why there's an A at the top of the screen. Because they are a grade A cupcake, like a grade A program. All right? This is a team last year that went and dominated ATS as an underdog. They may not won games, but they won on the spread. And that's what I care about. Okay? This was a good team to back at home. And they were dominated in conference. Okay? Now, let's go to this year. They bring in very nice pieces, complimentary pieces to what they already have. They bring back everybody except Kane Milling, Desmond Cambridge, Grant Sherfield. What a combination right there. There's 35 points a game easy. Now you have a front court with a trio adding Will Baker from Texas to KJ Himes and Warren Washington, who's an old school seven foot bruising center. How can we not cash again with Nevada? And when we talk about team temperature, it's spicy. It's hot. It's spicy as fuck. Because you know what? When you return the core of your backcourt and front court, you have size and strength galore. You're adding three perfect type transfers to make this Nevada team even harder to play against than they already were. I expect them to play with a chip on their shoulder, being doubted, being undervalued, and they could go nine deep if they wanted. I don't see a obvious weakness with the personnel on this team for the scheme. And I just don't know how much more valuable they can be ATS without some sort of trend reverting. So I'm going to obviously look to continue to do what's been working and what worked last year was to attack them as a dog ATS and in conference, whether they're a favorite or a dog ATS and definitely attack them ATS against the upper echelon in the Mountain West, the, the Boise, the San Diego States, you know, so. I think that when we talk about Nevada, you know, you can talk about Cambridge. You can talk about how he made the transition from the Ivy to the Mountain West. You can talk about Grant Sherfield making the recognition that he needed to get out of Wichita and that he needed to get to a program and a coach that can maximize his ability. But I like tall people, you know, they're good for getting stuff off the top shelf and they're also good at playing basketball. So Warren Washington's a seven-footer. He's a beast. He's a double-double potential type guy. He's tough as nails. He embraces contact, and he can run the floor. I love how he anchors the middle. He's an old-school five-man, and I look for him to be a key contributor and a key determining factor to Nevada's success for us betting this year. So as long as he stays healthy and he takes that next step forward, I think that this Nevada Wolfpack team is going to be something to die for. And I'm going to look for a game to attack on the road against Santa Clara. I think that this is a game that I think Nevada should be a two and a half point favorite. And if we see any kind of small dog line with Nevada, we jump on that ATS. And if we see a total that is higher than 145, you know, I'm going to be looking at a full game under because what does this team do? They can dominate you. They can score against you, and they can also lock you down on defense. So sort of like a raspberry chocolate cupcake locking down my appetite and keeping all the other cupcakes away, Nevada Wolfpack, ATS, making you money. Let's go again. Give me some. We be pupping, baby.